All right, in this video, I'm going to go over two new features that I've added to Raster Master here, and they're, they are the uh, sprite sheet export and the sound generator. I'm just going to go through with the sound generator first. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, so this is an S SFXR clone, basically. It generates uh, these common sounds. And you could export the, uh, the sounds to a WAV file and use it in your game. Uh, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but uh, basically all these options here, you can play around with them to create different sound effects. Uh, let's look at the uh, sprite sheet export. So I've uh, pre-drawn a number of sprites here, and um, we can uh, go over the uh, features of the uh, sprite sheet export. So we have the size of the sprite sheet. So there's some predefined sizes. Uh, we could also choose custom and put whatever size we want. I'm going to keep it at 320 by 200 for now. Uh, sprite size. So this has to correlate with the uh, sprite sizes you create. So if you come here, you can resize uh, to all these different sizes. So that has to match up basically because it packs them uh, depending on the sprite size and the direction we can choose different directions horizontal each time we change this we have to hit apply so we could go this direction we can reduce the uh the number of sprites per row and so we can make them uh, as as many rows or columns as we want by playing with these uh options here and we could export the sprite sheet to a clipboard or to a file i'm gonna export it to a file here you know, overwrite the previous one. And um, we could also export to a uh, clipboard and uh, let's paste it in paint. And so if you want to, so right now I'm only supporting pink files with the export sheets, but if you want to save under a different format, you can, uh, you can choose uh, various formats here and uh, still be able to use this. Uh, in your own uh, compiler, game development, uh, library, or whatever. Uh, so you can save it under all these different options. And that's the reason for adding that uh, export to clipboard. I'm going to size this down. Um, and I've added a description file. The description file allows you to know which coordinates each sprite is stored at. Um, so I'm going to export this to clipboard, and I'm going to use... QB64 right now because that's the only uh, thing I'm supporting uh, at the moment. Um, so this represents the location of all these sprites here. So I've already uh, set the uh, name to load into the sprite sheet and we're basically going to uh, copy as, uh, one of these sprites into uh, image one handle. So I'm going to choose, change this back to one, and we're just going to try running it here. And so we can see that it matches up. Now you notice that it's not transparent. I did that on purpose just to show you how to make it transparent. So if we go back here to um, properties, I'm going to select the custom option and this will turn the uh, black uh, color here into transparent because the alpha channel value will be zero and if we go back to the uh, sprite sheet export and hit apply again uh, that'll update the uh, the colors we won't see anything here but when we export it to a uh, file so we all write the uh, file that we created before back to QB64, and if we run it this time, we should see the color now transparent. So it's like you won't see that black background. And we can change this to let's display the green cross here. That's uh, that's number four. So if we change this to four here and run that. So there we go. So this is a small amount of code on how you can use the uh, sprite sheet in QB64. I'll do 
versions that you can use in other popular compilers or libraries in the future, maybe for Raylib or something like that. Um, anyway, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.